Okay, we've got ourselves another equaliser war. And those are the defences. Let's get into it. Okay, here's the first lineup. Bring the Penge team here. I quite like it versus a regular Freya because both Silveria and Costume Carol um, can completely counteract the defence down. Um, huge threat here is Costume Lacey. Really, that whole right side is pretty dangerous. I mean, Zagrog hits reasonably hard, but um, hopefully, I can just throw tiles down the middle and the left and then be able to eliminate. Um, one hero, which would she probably couldn't afford to be a lacy given she's a rogue. Troops are looking good. Oh, nice, we got ice into the fire hero. We've got our matches actually. Unfortunately that top right ice is going to cascade into holy which is going to move that out of the way. So it's not all that straightforward. I could do a vertical red into an ice diamond. Or I can take the blue on the top right first and then I might be able to get a very horizontal dark in the top right as well. So that'd be four turns for three matches. Um, that seems okay, doesn't it? I just need to check about my how badly this might go. So these drops, that drops an extra one. So yeah, we can start here. If we get really lucky, we get a nice through here. Oh, that's pretty handy. And we've even got enough for Silveria if we want to go down that road. I think there's something to be said for keeping this nice and simple. Let's get our blue specials. Nice timing on the equaliser. Well, given he is a rogue, let's not get after him. Let's go right side, I guess. Eight hundred. She's not going to do eight hundred. Unless he's pretty tempting. As is just making sure that the tank dies. Um. Yeah, I'm going to go here. I was hoping that. Freya would catch a few fish there. Okay. Let's hold off on her, so we can probably get a kill shot once we finally get these ice heroes going. Maybe she's a more likely candidate at this stage. Ok, 
Okay, so we might as well try for the kill here. She is a fighter. Back she comes. This is going to be a bit slow. The result is clearly not in doubt. And she's back again. Right, come on. Let's get this last match. Go on, Pinky. a little over the top but that's what we like about them okay here's the next lineup um, I quite liked the look of this because Pengi's the one real big danger here so the Junes can potentially just snipe him and kill him and might just grind for the rest of it um, Regard obviously gives me some cleansing against the tank and the defense down and the burn. Um, and Gormek gives me an option that if uh, if they do get going um, and Silveria fires and it's not the same turn as Pengi firing, if I can get Gormek ready, I can eat the minions and then therefore make him a whole lot less dangerous. So it looks like we're going to be able to get reds. Not a lot of dark, sort of just a regulation amount of holy. Interesting. I quite like this. It's me chances of holies and of reds. I'd really love to speed up Sylveria kind of at this point. It's um, be excellent to have her go off on the um, on the second turn of Equalizer, but there's just no way that's going to happen. So I think we take that. Oh, there's the bonus match. Really needed that. Now I just need really a dead move. Because the dunes are slowed. Mind you, the dunes... What's the mana slow on them? Minus 24. Three tiles will be enough. Yeah. That's still a better way to go. Let's get attack up for Regard A. I think that is worth the push here. Extra healing is a shame, but we can live with that. Okay, that's quite a lot of extra healing, really. A lot extra compared to what I thought I was dealing with. I can't set Silveri off without setting Pengi off, is that right? Oh, and I can put two blues into her. So let's do that. I hope she doesn't kill my wounded June.
Okay. Clearly I need to use Gourmet. Do I use Vivica as well? Let's start with Gourmet and see what we got. Looks like yes. Cool. Who do we aim to set off here? Let's go to this side first. Yeah, I might miss, make a mess of the holies, but it's all right. Great, she didn't hit. Yeah, healer. She got 122. You can do that. So let's, even though it's an opportune in terms of the equalizer. Oh, of course, you don't resist. You resist minion removal. 42 though, that's alright. Holy tile should do 42. No trouble. Uh, we might as well have the extra defense. Oh, a fighter. I actually had no idea what her class was. That's annoying. Definitely going to slow us down. Really want to get Regard going, but I think we've got enough for a kill on her, so let's try. Okay, put some blind on. It's going to be slow. But we're going to get there. Just looking for the dead move there. Taking some killing. Oh, really? Come on. There we go. Oh, 
Okay, so he's a pretty powerful opponent here. A lot of really good heroes over there. Um, it's definitely a little bit passive, but Miriam and Midnight is really pretty hardcore. His minions are enormous, uh, can really get away from you very quickly, so this is definitely a dangerous opponent. Um, troops are correct. I'm trying to hide Marjana on the wing there, since she only has a ninja troop on her. I suspect the 27% um, heal from Gormak would not be enough to get rid of a fiend, which needs 30% healing. Well, we're not getting our reds, are we? We can get our way to two ice matches easy enough. So let's at least set one of those up. Yes, that is ugly. So I do need to make sure I have Esme ready immediately. So I suspect I should just get ahead and grab my ice matches while I can. Let's do that one now. He does have a saucer on him, so let's try and run some between there for my third ice match. No. Take it now. Oh, fat finger that. Oh, it's not too costly, I don't think. Hasn't messed up my match. Didn't need, don't need all those extra centers again. <laughs> Man, that second hit is enormous. Okay, well, we need an ice here. Got it. Now we need a bit of luck here with who carefree hits. Would really need a need bold tusk to stay alive. Uh, and we've got a snipe coming in. Can't afford to heal now. I've never heard that special before. I didn't realise it made a meow. <laughs> okay, we did. And they're just going to keep on healing. So I need a red to follow in the third column. Or well, this game is over. Uh, well, we can definitely start with that. Do you do? Yeah, I think the suggested move is better because it gives me, on the subsequent turn, it gives me an option in the second column if a red comes in the second column. It's a lot of healing. And here comes the Kenner again. <laughs> Man. Okay, let Marjan live. And we can do a lot of damage to the tank here. Okay. So that's a pretty chunky minion on there. Okay, that's going to do a bit of damage too, but she's now going to have a heal on her hands. Oh, well, next move is obvious. Ice and fire in one move. 
You have a gargoyle skin on you though. That is annoying, so it would have done a power of damage. You're about to heal for 40% of the dealt damage. I've got no rogues, so it's not as though there's a chance that you miss. So I think I'll just snipe and run away. Hmm, is that the right play? Yeah, I think it is the right play. So, it's going to take my snipe and run. I suppose that starting board isn't a terrible result, um, but disappointing nonetheless. Eleven. Okay, so here's the clean team, and can't say I'm hugely confident, um, but we think we are strong against Arco. Taking out that right side will be pretty important. Um, actually, so yeah, I think we'll bring along diamonds. Some really chunky minions here, and surely one of the flanks is going to fire. Um, okay, troops are alright. I need to get the timing right here with Anari and these snipers. Let's take that and move a red a bit further down. Looks like Arco is definitely going to fire. So do I want to try and force fire her? And then I can eat all the minions. Unfortunately we're going to hit, get hit with Zakina and that um, massive buff from Miriam. So we can get ourselves Anari. Unfortunately the timing looks like it's going to be terrible. Okay, going to get hit from the right instead. Holy moly. There's no point putting the dodge on now. So I think I've got to go with this move. Hope I don't lose anyone too important here. Our code didn't go, so that's valuable. OK, 
Okay. Come on, dodge. Ouch. <laughs> oh, this is going to be close. Hmm. No dodge now. I'm not going to lose this. That right side is going to have so much healing, and I've got no way to heal myself now. Gotta get a holy match. Hmm. It's the only way I'm gonna get any HP onto Inari. So I've got a force fire Zakina this turn and hope that the dodge adds a minion. I think that is my only minor possible possible chance here is it for a double dodge wow those minions do hit pretty hard okay how much hp absolute ton Failed clean. Failed clean. Eesh. That hurts. Okay, here we go. Oh, plenty of size on that. Okay, final flag. So Norns isn't maxed. Had the limit break and started to work on her. Uh, but thought I'd try it out this war. Um, let's give this a go. We've got dodge and taunt over there. So timing is pretty crucial here with the equaliser.
Timing on this is not going to be good. He's going to get hit. Does Rigar get hit? Nope. Let's set up a hole here with that as well. Okay, we're going to have to stall. Really want to force fire Catalan. I don't think one tile's going to do it though. So let's just stall with no tiles into Catalan. Um, yeah, I guess we go after this side. So about 200. About 500. Not going to be enough on Roosley, is it? Not going to be enough on either. Ouch. Got a lot of green here. Yeah, damage from Catalan is really nothing to worry about. So we can do that. Ghost this. So, I guess we just use Drake to finish off Roosley. Okay. So I think I have my answer on this team, which is that as soon as you don't use it until Norns is fully broken, because it's not quite enough damage yet. It doesn't need much more. But it's definitely not enough at this stage. But that's also why I limit broke it, because I knew this team needed a little more oomph. Okay, well, did get the successful. It was not a clean, but it was pretty. It's only very low troop quality on that target. So I certainly hope to walk away with wins on those and no failed cleans. But unfortunately, the latter was my problem today. Uh, so that is it for my war. Um, the team was looking pretty good beforehand, and State of the War is 88 flags to us. So we have nine more flags and a deficit of about 200. Um, yeah, so that's looking alright. Not um, 
not a walloping, but slightly in our favour, I would say. So, um, mercy to Order Durandil. And uh, good luck, teammates, bringing this one home. Anyone else watching, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope your wars have gone well. For me, that will do it.